Hi everyone! In this video we're going to see the new subscription box model we just added to the latest version of Youthful Commerce subscription. With this new feature you can now have your customers create their own boxes, choose whatever products they want to get in it, and even edit the content of the box before the next renewal. Before we get into it, let me remind you that we'll list links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo with access to the admin dashboard below in the description or in the first comment. And now, let's get to it. So here we have several different types of products customers can subscribe to. We already know these types of subscriptions, but here we have the new subscription box we're going to see in this video. As you can see, the button below even has a different label than the other subscription-based products. It's create your box instead of subscribe, because the idea is that customers click on it to start the process of choosing products to add to the box and subscribe. So let's go to the dashboard and see how we can configure this new feature. Let's go to Eid subscription. So in this case, we have already enabled the subscription box module. That's why you can see the new subscription box section right here. To do that, you just have to go over to modules and enable it right here. So let's go over to subscription box where we can set the general options for this great new feature. So first we can choose to show the site logo or not to customers during the box creation. If this option is enabled, we can upload the logo here or enter a URL. In this case, I uploaded this image. We're going to see where customers see this in a bit. Then here is the add to cart label. We have create your box, which is what we just saw. You can, of course, enter any text here. Then we have the colors to make sure to match this box creation process with the colors on our website. Then we can decide if we want to use pagination. This is really useful if you offer lots of products for customers to add to the box. If enabled, we can enter the number of products to show. Let's say 10. And last, we have an option to allow customers to edit the box content. This is also a great option we can enable to allow customers to edit the box content for their ongoing subscription boxes. Let me show you where they can change that. So this is my account. They can go to subscriptions. They'll find all their subscriptions here. They can select the subscription box they want to edit. They'll see the subscription info, the total pricing, the current content of the box, and the option here to go edit the box. Let's click on edit box to see how that would look. So these are all the options available in step one. These two cake slices are in the current box. Let's take this one out. Let's add this one instead. Let's add a second slice of this one and one of this. Here we have the logo I showed you first in the plugin settings. Then since this box has two steps, we can click on next to edit the second step. Edit whatever we want here. Click next again and we'll see the new box content and we can click on save box to update the box content from the next delivery on. And just like that, in just a few clicks, customers can edit the content of their box. Let's go back to the dashboard. Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so you know every time we publish a new video. Now, let's continue. We're going to save options. So now that we have seen all these settings, let's go see how to create a subscription box like the one we saw. Let's go to products, add new. So as usual, we need to enter the name of the product, the short description, then we'll check the subscriptions category and we'll choose a product image that fits this subscription box. And now we can focus on the subscription box settings. So here in product data, we can choose subscription box out of all the product types and we'll get this new subscription options tab with two sub tabs, settings and box. So first, let's configure the subscription settings. We have the box price method. We can either choose to add up all the product prices or set a fixed price for this box. So whatever they choose to add to the box, they're going to be charged the same price. Since I'm going to be offering different products from my shop, and they all have different prices, I'm going to choose to add up the product prices. Then we can offer a discount if we want to. It can be a fixed discount or a percentage discount. I'm not going to do that. And here's where we set the length of each recurring subscription period. It can be days, weeks, months, or years. I'm going to set one month here. So this box would be delivered once a month. We can set an end time for the subscription. I'm not going to. We can request a sign up fee. Apply subscription limits. If this is enabled, you can limit the user to have just one active subscription or one subscription of any status. Let's keep that off. 
we can also override global posting settings in case we want to override global settings to make sure customers never post this subscription box or even allow them to do it with or without limits. Let's skip this off. Same goes for global cancellation settings. We can make sure they never cancel. They cancel without limits or we set some limits for them to cancel the subscriptions and we can set the limits here. Let's disable this option. And then we can choose when to send the email with the next box content. I'm going to set this to two. So they get an email reminder two days before their box is renewed. But we're going to allow box editing up until three days before the renewal date. That way we can make sure everything's correct and set up before renewing the subscription. Then we're going to move on to box. So this is where we can set the steps with the different products so customers can put together their subscription boxes. We can either show all the products they can add to the box in one step or divide them into several steps. In step one, we're going to edit this. We can make sure to show all products so they can basically choose any products from the shop, specific products, and we would need to enter those products here or specific categories. This is the option I'm going to choose and I'm going to be showing the slice cakes category in this first step. Here we can set minimum and maximum rules for product selection. So the minimum and maximum products customers can choose in this first step. And then here we can choose the maximum units they can choose of the same product. So for example, if I set one here and the customer adds a chocolate cake slice to the box, they will not be able to add more units of that flavor. The plugin will not allow it. This will apply to all the cake slices in step one. We're going to see that in a bit. Then we can enter a step label. Let's do choose your cake slices. And we can click here to enter a description to show below the label. Save. And then we can add another step. This is going to be step number two. We're going to edit. And in this case, I'm also going to enter specific categories. And the category I want to show is muffin and cupcakes. So they can choose in the first step, cake slices. And in the second step, muffin and cupcakes to put together this subscription box. I can also set minimum and maximum rules here. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to enter the step label and the step text, save. And last, we have minimum and maximum values for the box. So we can either let customers buy the subscription box without any limits in pricing so they can get the box even if the total is $5, $50 or $200. Or we can enable this option and set a minimum or maximum box value for customers to subscribe to this box. I'm going to set a minimum of $25. So the content of the box needs to be at least $25 for them to be able to subscribe to it. If not, they're going to see an error message and they won't be able to subscribe. Great. So now that it's all set up, we're going to publish this product and let's go see it in the shop. Just like any product, I have my image, my product name, description, and the add to cart label, which in this case is create your box. I'm going to click on it and I get the logo here. The step label, choose your cake slices and the step text, choose your favorite cake slices to add to your box. Now this product category has more than 10 products, but we see 10 products first because of pagination. More products are loaded when we scroll down. These are all the options customers can choose from. Let's choose one of these and let's click on next to go over to the next step. Here we also have the step label, choose your muffins and cupcakes and the text. Choose your favorite muffins and cupcakes to add to your box. Let's add this cupcake and let's try clicking on next. And the plugin is not allowing us to add this box to the cart because as we can see here, the minimum amount required is $25, but our total is less than that. So let's go back to the previous step to add more products. If I try to add another slice of the same chocolate cake I added before, I cannot do it. The plugin is just not letting me add it because the maximum here in step one is one unit of each item. Let's add this and this. Let's go to the next step again. So now the total is $27. We can click on next. See the box content right here, the pricing, and then click here to proceed to checkout. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure this module and offer customers the option to put together their own subscription boxes. Okay, so as so you can configure and use this new module, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.